Hello everyone, Timer over here, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play of Surviving Mars, the Space Race Expansion. We are, of course, playing as Brazil, and uh, we got this little uh, rover here that uh, appeared last episode that I didn't notice until just now uh, with our current SO Corp, SO Corp I believe, um, a mystery. So that's interesting. It appeared I didn't see it until I noticed at the end of the episode uh, that this thing appeared on my little uh, guide here, navigation bar there. And uh, yeah, so I'm not entirely sure what to make of this little roaming vehicle. Uh, we were told to ignore it, but I don't think we're going to be able to. I'm wondering where... what are you doing? I don't think we can do anything with you. Like, can I... Explore? No. That would be a negative. Where is my exploration vehicle? Way up there. Um, so I guess we're just gonna, you know, hang on and see what happens here. It's kind of like itching, itching, inching, itching, it inching its way towards my little area here. Although it does look like it's it's heading that way. So yeah, I'm not sure what to make of this thing. We'll have to just wait and see what the uh, mystery has in store for us. In the meantime, uh, we are low on storage. We've got a low uh, count of machine parts, although that's not entirely accurate. We are making, we do have some production of a machine parts going on. Uh, I think last episode we just had a fairly big um, uh, expense on machine parts. I think it was the tunnel, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, we, where are we making those at? Are we not in there? It's probably up in our metal dome over here. Yeah, we got, we don't quite have two shifts running of the machine parts though. Uh, and we do have availability here. Nobody, nobody is without a job. So yeah, we, we're going to have to potentially do something here. Um, looks like this guy is meandering up here for whatever reason. There's no way out. I don't know. We'll, have to, we'll just have to keep monitoring and maybe another pop-up will come soon. Let us deal with that. Uh, you do not have sufficient waste rock. Why is that? This thing is working. Uh, do we have, I believe... Yes, we do have this going on. You have waste rock. Do we have any like stashes of waste rock anywhere? No. That would be the answer. Uh, what I could do, uh, no, you can, you're not being worked on, yes? No, you are, correct. You're, you're the um, underground rare metals. So you're still producing waste rock here. All right. I could set up another um, concrete extractor over here to get a little bit more waste rock but honestly i don't think it's super necessary that you actually run you are using power i mean ultimately you will get some waste rock eventually i'm just surprised that it's not producing any waste rock right now there we go now you're getting something all right so that's fine as brazil we do get this rare metals refiner which is really nice uh okay so we got right so where was I going to have you guys land? Uh, we don't really have the space down there. We got 12 passengers. I think I was going to put you over here, wasn't I? I'm pretty sure. I mean, we're going to have to split them up between various different locations. So the, the shuttle hub's going to have to help with that. Um, because yeah, we have room, we have enough room for these passengers. We just don't have, they're not all in one dome. So I'm going to go ahead and launch you here because we do need more machine parts and this will allow me to open that up, uh, moving forward. Um, now we do have down here. Yeah, this is where we have the electronics factory. Now, did I, did I encourage... Specializations here. Yeah, engineers were specializing over here, which is fine. Um, and over here, I do want to specialize engineers, I believe, as well. Just to encourage them over here, too. Uh, I don't think we have 
Can I get stats on how many engineers we currently have? No. I have there one renegade. Colonists. That's kind of bad. Oh well. These guys are going to get picked up. They have payloads. They are going to be redistributed across our area, so that's fine. Um, so yeah, we, we had set up... Oh, right. So we do have some waste rock up here, and I can actually... Rather than build um, an additional waste rock refinery up here, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to be set at a 105. So that the shuttles will actually try to rebalance the waste rock as well to get them nearby. Uh, and we'll put you at that point as well. This thing, I'm just going to delete that. We don't need it anymore and that's going to be fine. So our shuttles will also help with that. How is our other resources? Our electronics is kind of crap, but again, we are turning a surplus on that. Uh, polymers, not, yeah, we're, we're really low on polymers as well. Wow. That is not great. Um, you are done. I'm going to start having um, metals go with this because I just realized we have this, such a ton of uh, rare metals here, which is just crazy. Um, unfortunately, I don't have... I don't have any there rare metals over here. Colonists. I don't think. Oh, no, we do. We have it rare metals here in this depot. So they'll be able to fill that up fairly quickly and get going on that. Well, do we know what's this thing doing now? I don't know. Can I do anything with you? Like, seriously. Uh, apparently not. Transporter. Uh, new. You. Explorer. No, you're not really doing anything. All right, then. I, I guess we're not going to be able to do anything with that, which is fine. It's no problem. Um, do we want to beeline to compact pa or uh, 10 more colonists on our shuttles? Honestly, that might not be bad. We do have some Martian board. There's something to be said about getting this. I don't know. Do we have a university yet in this playthrough? Uh, I don't believe so. N no, that would be a negative. Yeah. You guys are out of jobs over here. Tell you what, what we can do, since we need some polymers, let's go ahead and make up a polymer factory right smack dab here. And then these guys will have some place to work. Although it is three. There's only three there. So we have some over in these other domes, unfortunately. Can I open up any more work shifts? That is number one. The answer would be, I suppose, a yes here. Although, for whatever reason, what's going on here? We have unemployed one. Unemployed one. Why aren't you coming over here? Huh? Huh? Are you done yet? Yes. Go, 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 go. We don't really need any more... Uh, my, well, we could always use some funding, but, I mean, we're, we're pretty well off. I should probably send another ship. Well, I guess when that one gets back, uh, we'll probably send another resupply of material here just to get things going. Because I kind of would like to get a dome up here. Uh, what's going on? Uh, apparently, this guy, for whatever reason, I must have moved him by accident. Can we build a drone hub? The answer is uh, yes, we can. Where do we want this? Is a good question. I'm thinking like right smack dab here. Doesn't really get us too far up there, but it... Um, alternatively, we could start getting this stuff, this water. I mean, that's going to be kind of important. Uh, meteor storm soon. Hmm. 
still have some unemployment going on, which is not the greatest. You don't have any area to to live. <clears throat> Do we want to just move, let's build another dome down here? Start another dome? Sector scanned. I mean, we really... Our numbers are okay right now. We just don't have the, you know, raw resources. Machine production has improved slightly. Uh, and we can't boost that. Oh my gosh, the bomb! Your attention is required. Uh, an unbelievable amount of unaccounted for funds has suddenly appeared in our accounts, but are currently kept frozen. This comes shortly after we received the following encrypted message. Seth requires permission to test the bomb at a safe distance from your Martian colony. Martian colony. Uh, these funds should cover inconvenience. Uh, does Seth have a permission? What? You want to detonate a bomb? Um, I'm not entirely sure what this entails, um, but we don't really need the money, <laughs> so I don't think we're going to do this. It'll probably lead to some awful, awful things, and I don't really want that. And yeah, we're not going to do that. Not going to worry too much about it, so that's not part of our mystery. This guy is just roaming around kind of annoyingly unfortunately all right yeah you're not doing anything either hmm <laughs> do we want to build another concrete extractor here i think the answer is no i mean we don't really don't need it what we really need is some more people to be perfectly honest it's the thing, we have spaces for them to live and jobs available. So I don't know why. Move over to this dome. You have we have livable spaces and we have some work slots, I guess disabled, but still. I don't know. Maybe we should start building up a new dome. Uh what's wrong with this dome over here? Gaming, drinking, just a lot of irate people. We could build like a small grocer are low. somewhere. What do we got here? This is a small space bar. Well, honestly, no, we, we really can't, can we? I mean, I could build. Can we like tuck in another dome somewhere? <laughs> the answer would be yes. Uh, this is all being blocked. Problem with doing like something like this, uh, we got this thing causing some ruckus and some dust. But maybe we want to do something like that. Just turn this into a fully fledged. I don't know. We won't be able to man it very well, though. I think this thing's just gonna have to, you know, be fine. I could open up another workshop here, but honestly, I don't know if that's entirely useful. This research lab is kind of useless. I almost want to remove that. Hmm. There's something to be said about maybe building a bigger dome over here and just shuttling over the um, the resources and building another factory, uh, electronics factory over here. And I actually kind of like that idea. Just making this our, our, our major... Uh, manufacturing location over here but I kind of want the medium dome which we are researching right now so I think I'm gonna hold off on building the medium dome for right now uh, what's going on here do you not have oh shoot you don't actually have any uh, drones for whatever reason let's go ahead and grab those there you go and yeah you need just resources so we are kind of hemorrhaging water right now which is not ideal, but it will have to do. I can get you to come up here and just start clearing out some of these resources. Like all this metal and then just dropping it off over here. Just to get those things going on. 
Yeah, very dust low deposits emerging. right there. Oh boy. We got a dust storm coming as well as a meteor storm coming. Ugh. We're gonna lose what? How's our oxygen? Oxygen's fine. I'm tempted to throw down another... You know what? Let's do that in preparation for this because we're gonna lose out on all our oxygen. It'd be nice if we had the large oxygen tank, unfortunately. We don't have that up just yet. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw one down here. And we do have one over there. Might actually build two right there. Yeah, I like that. That's fine. Um, and we, do we want to like connect up these domes? I think the answer is yes. That way, if we shut off these these valves here, these will still all run. Uh, we may want to may want to put these over here actually. Now that I think about it, so that we could shut off access to this dome if need be. Because if we get breaks or something in the, in these lines, we may want to do something like that. But oh well, we'll have to make do with what it is. All right, so I saw a an anomaly. Oh, <clears throat> it's down here. Yeah, you know what? I think what I want to do next, because we're not quite there with our dome research, um, we want to actually tunnel down here now. I think that's going to be our next project, which is going to require a cargo rocket. Um, let's take a look here. What do we need again? I think it's just machine parts because everything else we have a ton of. Yeah, concrete and metals. We have a lot of those things. So I think we're just going to throw down a tunnel, say, right here, and then meander down this way. Alternatively, if we built it up here, we might be able to get into a nice location with with uh, resources. And well, we haven't looked to see what's down here. If there's water down here, it might be more beneficial to do it down here. I mean, there's water right there. Actually, I think that's what we're going to do. It may be very, it may be fine doing it down there, but no, I think what we want is we want to build, assuming I can get this in, which is, you know, not entirely something. All right, you're there. Can I get you to come down here? Too far, too far, too far. Yeah, we're, nope. I would need to literally put it like right here. Here and then Right there, we could probably do that and eventually get those resources. I don't want to put down a drone hub over here, though. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, we, I mean, what I could do is I could bring over our, our little rover man and uh, get that set up using the RC controller. I mean, it's fine, I suppose. I just hate to waste a drone hub over here. I mean, yeah, we do have concrete slabs over here that we could start mining. And they're pretty pretty rich ones, but we're already we already have this one in our in our territory. Oh, all right, where is this? All right, it's here. We may get some spillover, and depending on which way it migrates, since these things do tend to migrate, um, this this storm might cause issues. All right, let's go ahead. I'm gonna send the cargo rocket, fill it up with machine parts. And you know what? Just bring a bunch of machine parts and maybe fill out a little of this. Yeah, that's fine. Launch. Um, mainly because I am going to want to build a tunnel. I just don't know where yet. Select a sector Do we have... Let's build another um, 
sensor tower, like say over here. And make that high priority, because I really want to see what's over here. Because if there's water down here, I may definitely want to start to do this. Uh, what's going on here? Uh, we lost that. Which honestly is fine. I don't even really need this bit. So we'll take care of that grid. Yeah, it's going to migrate sort of towards us. So we may have some issues over here. Uh, but I think it's going to maybe go this way. I don't think it's going to come straight down. So we might escape fairly unscathed by this thing. Uh, we have a leak detection here, which is not great. I could shut it down to avoid that. Turn off our pumps and everything. And I, I'm actually kind of liking that option. So let's do that. Shut down, shut all the pipes. So these things should be getting water still as well as power. We just won't lose as much uh, from our water tanks anymore. Yeah, minus three as opposed to like minus 13 or 11 here till that got taken care of. Excellent. So then we can go ahead and re-enable this. Thank you. All right, and then we, yeah, we got a, a better life support or a positive in there. We're still losing power, I think, for what? We don't have a leak anywhere. I think it's just because it's during the day and we have those factories running. We may want to throw down some more power, um, you know, more of these or something. But I'm going to wait till after the, the meteor storm, which is soon to be done. All right, so this is now scanning quickly because of the uh, added tower here. So we'll see what's down here and then make the decision. We're still waiting on this. Oh my gosh. Just noticed all these freaking little drones around here. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, so I've never, I've not done the S ESO Corporation um, thing yet. So I'm actually very intrigued by what, what's happening here. All right, so we're, we've we've escaped the meteor storm unscathed, which is fantastic. We do have the dust storm coming in, but we're pretty well prepared for that. Lots and lots of stored oxygen. Um, we could probably get some stored water, some additional water going on, but I think we're okay for right now. Yeah, that didn't really give us what I kind of wanted here. So we'll see what this gives us. If this gives us something... Again, water, I think we'll build the tunnel there. Otherwise, I think we're going to just tunnel over here. Um, <clears throat> I could build a tunnel down here, but this is kind of some rocky area. It's average. Yeah, I think we're going to want to go and set up a shop down here. To be a perfectly honest. Are any of these breakthroughs? Yeah, one's a breakthrough. There are other magnifying glasses. Well, there's a breakthrough too. All right, so we got two breakthroughs. So we definitely want to go down there at uh, some point here. Uh, all right, so our supplies are ready. I'm going to wait to land this. Although I have to land it before the dust storm. All right, my Mars Gate, the silent invasion. Lovely. Um, let's go ahead and throw that down. What do you got for us? We detect and monitor four more objects as they parachute down and make landfall. Every one of them bearing a resemblance to object 6EZ-3. ESO Corporation is totally silent about this second batch of what we believe to be some sort of surveying rovers. More colonists have witnessed the landings and are openly concerned about what they perceive to be an invasion. Calm the general public down. We need answers. All right, well, there's nothing for us to do. So I guess we'll just wait. Um, we are still, we got some unemployment going on, which is not the greatest, actually. One thing I could throw down. Do we have any room in any of these areas here? The answer would be new. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and just add another workshop here. Another electronics factory thing. Um... You have room to, to war, uh, live, so we might be okay there. Let's start this work shift at the sanatorium as well. Get that going. 
And then, yeah, are you... 93, 11 hours. Yeah, we'll be able to un undo this one. Or scan this one before the storm hits. I just need to get this uh, ship. Alright, yeah, we don't... I don't think we really want to go down here. Doesn't look like there's anything to spec out. There may be over here. But I'm kind of set on doing this. So let's do that. Uh, let's go ahead and get a drone hub set up here. Uh, right there. And that'll be fine. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we got all these little vehicles. What the heck are they doing? Leave me alone. But oh my gosh, we've gone on long enough. Alright, we're going to go ahead and put a pause and a cut in the video here. We got these little freaking Isocort drones roving around. I'm sure that they're they're entirely friendly. Um, they look cool. It'd be nice if we could get them or something. But we'll have to do, we'll have to deal with that next episode. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. If you are, let me know by hitting that like button. If you want to see more content, I strongly urge you to subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, we'll see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.